Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have the whole collection project pan update for you. This project is a collab which we're doing with a bunch of people and even though we're not all uploading on the exact same date, we're kind of cheering each other on here. So they will be linked down below. I'm working on five products that are kind of more long-term and five products that are 10 uses in this project and I'm just randomly <laughs> rolling in products from my uh, collection. So let's take a look, starting off with the five that I've been working on for a little bit longer, at least most of them. Um, first of all, the Pupa blush, the Baroque blush. I'm trying to hit pan in this one. Um, so what hoping I might be able to finish it off this year, but at the same time, not too sure about that. I can really start to see a dip kind of forming in here, mostly on this side. And for some reason it's starting to crumble on the other side. I already told you guys about that last time, but it's starting to crumble even more. It is relatively powdery. Like I do see powder kicking up every time I use it. And I try to kind of pick that up still and use it on my cheeks. Um, but there is a lot of product in here. What is it again? How much is in here? 9 grams of product, which is 0.32 ounces. So, a bit of product for me to work through. I have no idea how deep the pan is. The packaging is a little bit thicker just because, I guess, it's, it's a little bit nicer quality. Um, but it's still gonna take me a little while, I think, to actually hit pan in this one. And when it's on the crumbly side, I don't feel like it really counts, but we'll see. Still really like this blush. Of course, I'm wearing it today as well. It smells like marshmallows. Like, it's, it's great. <laughs> um, oh, and I've used that one under 17 times, which brings me to a total of 50, which is a good few uses, but that is nothing in comparison with the amount of uses I have on my L'Oreal Glam Bronze and Radiance Trio. Um, this one I have been working on for a good while now as well. I rolled this in at the start of the year and I'm using this pretty much every single time I apply my makeup. Um, and that means that in total I have used this one 101 times right now. And I still didn't really hit pan on it. Um, the interesting thing, I'm just gonna put away the cap because it's broken. <laughs> the interesting thing about this one is that the bronzer side is still pretty much completely intact and the blush side is kind of starting to slope down. And technically, I have hit the bottom on that side, but it's not like pan enough for me. So I'm not gonna roll it out just yet, but maybe by next time it will look better. Um, it will be a little bit more visible, but yeah. I've used this an additional 27 times to get to that 101. So yeah, pretty much using this every day, like I said. Because a few days a month I do not wear makeup, like most of the time, at least one day in the weekend. But yeah, still working on it. And then one that has been in here for a little while as well is the Catrice Made to Stay Inside Eye called Kajal in Comblec and Stay, which is a really long name. And it is done. There still is like the tiniest bit left on here, but every time I try to apply it, I'm basically like just scraping my <laughs> eyelid with the uh, plastic of the packaging. So I decided this one is officially done. I was not really expecting to finish off an eyeliner this year um, until this rolled into this project. And I just ended up working on it, even though that was not per se the plan, which is nice about this project because I finished off a product that I probably wouldn't have even touched if it wouldn't have been in this project. So that is really, really nice. And that means that I get to roll in a new product for next time. The last time I actually rolled in two new products, which were these two. Um, first of all, the MAC Lip Gelay, um, which was from a flowery collection. And I don't have the name on here either. So I cannot give you too many details about it, but I've been using this one a fair bit. I used it 17 times, which definitely is a fair bit. Um, and it looks like it didn't move at all. <laughs> and I kind of think that is because it is a relatively sticky lip gloss. So I feel like it kind of sticks to the side a little bit um, and it just doesn't like settle properly. Um, yeah, 
but that means after 17 uses it still looks exactly the same which isn't very encouraging um like some of the days i even applied it twice or maybe even three times during the day so yeah working on it hopefully next time i have some visible progress but let's see and then this one is getting really really small <laughs> as you can see this is the miss helen uh, coal pencil, eye coal pencil, something like that. Of course, I can't see the writing anymore in 37, which is just a white shade. And at the moment, I'm using this kind of as a base. So I'm putting this all over my lid after I apply my like actual eyeshadow base, um, the primer, and I use this in my inner corner. And as you can see in the close up, I have made some nice progress. I have no idea how long I will be able to still sharpen it, as you can see. Like right here when the cap is on there really isn't that much that is still sticking out so i need to be careful that it won't actually get stuck in here either but probably still will have it in here for at least two or three months let's see but yeah i'm working on that one anyway so it's really nice to have that in here and be able to actually show you guys the progress that i'm making on it but now the five products that i um i'm trying to hit my 10 uses on first of all i'm just going from like I guess oldest to newest in this project. Um, this one is the sleek palette and in here, this is the, the original palette. In here I'm working on this green shade, which is what I have in my outer corner today. I put another green shade in my crease just because that was a matte shade and I didn't feel like having a shimmery shade in my crease today, although I do that all the time. Um, yeah, so I've used this one more time today. Um, I was so focused on all my other eyeshadows that I didn't really get to using this very much. Um, and that brings me to a total of four uses. I've still got some work to do on this one. I might just have to decide to actually focus in on one of these at some point, but at the same time, I'm okay with moving a little bit slower on these because I've got a lot of other eyeshadows that I like really want to focus on and I don't want this to take away too much from that either. So next one is an eyeshadow as well. This is the NYX Strike a Pose palette. In here I'm working on this um, goldish brownish <laughs> shade and I've also used this once today on my eyelids. Um, I used it dry first but I didn't feel like I got the payoff I wanted so I wetted it a little bit with my, my finishing spray I guess. It's not really a finishing spray, it's from Pixie but yeah. I used this once as well which for this one brings me to a total of five uses. Like technically it shouldn't be too hard for me to just use this another five times, but at the same time, like I said, focusing on a lot of eyeshadows and this just is not my priority at the moment. And then I rolled in the Atos Smoky Eye Pencil. This is a dark brown color, um, somewhat recently as well. I think two updates ago maybe. And this one I've used another two times, which brings me to a total of four. I'm wearing this as my eyeliner today. I've kind of been testing that out for the last two uses. Um, and it actually works quite okay. It's kind of weird in a way to have it be a blue, but then when you're further away, you don't really see the difference between like a dark blue and a black anyway. So this is a great way for me to use it. I also still want to try to have this as my complete eyeshadow base at some point as well. But now that I have finished off the Catrice eyeliner, it should be pretty easy for me to just use this one like up until the 10 times at the very least as an eyeliner and then hopefully do one all over the lid look as well. So that's for that one, four uses in total. And then I rolled in two products last time, which were the blush and the lipstick. Um, the blush kind of like I do every time I feel like I've used 10 times I when I roll these in this is kind of my focus blush for 10 uses and then I make my way back to the Baroque blush and keep using that for kind of the rest of the month I did really like this shade because it is like really nice and summery so I did manage to use that 10 times and I also managed to get my nail in there because this um, like it's it's a very loose uh, cap. My English is, I don't know. <laughs> so it, at one point I was holding it and the cap accidentally opened and my nail went in. But yeah, 10 years is done. That is what I was trying to tell you. And then the lipstick is a very like <laughs> vampy red 
and I wasn't expecting going into spring that I would be using this one a, much, uh, a lot, but actually I liked using this and with some looks and like the, the shirts that I was wearing, it just kind of worked. So I've used this one 10 times as well, which I thought was gonna take me like at least two or three updates, but we're there already. So that is great. Um, yeah, and those were my 10 products. So as you could see, I'm rolling out one product on the like long-term side and two products on the shorter-term side. Um, although some of my shorter-term products are pretty much in here longer than my long-term. Um, yeah, but I'm going to roll in three new items and then decide which ones go where. So let's do that. Let me grab my phone. So I have my phone with the pretty random app open. In total, I have 192 products that I could be rolling in that are not in other projects or that are just rolling out here. Um, but I don't want to do any eyeshadows because I already have those two that I'm not making amazing progress on and my rule is kind of to not have more than two of one like type of product in here unless I feel like it's okay. Uh, so taking out my eyeshadows that leaves me with 41 <laughs> items in total which means like definitely the biggest part of my collection is eyeshadows. Um, I'm gonna be rolling three numbers and see what we end up with. So first number is seven and then we have eight <laughs> and then we have 25. So I'm pretty sure that I have two blushes in here so let me see uh, what those are. I have my laptop in front of me right here. Seven is an NYX blush in Menage a Trois. And, am I right? Yep. Yeah. And eight is the Milani blush in my tie. So I'm not gonna do two blushes at once. And since seven was the shade that rolled first, Menage a Trois is the one that I'm gonna be rolling in. And then 25 is a lip product. Ooh, yes. It's the Etude House uh, lip, what is it? Lip lacquer? Natalie, I'm sure you're you're gonna be able to tell me what this actually is, because um, it's it's an Asian product. An ex colleague of mine brought it from Korea for me, so um, I'm gonna grab those. But first, I'm gonna roll one more number just to make sure I don't have a blush in here. Just gonna quickly check. So I have 17 blushes at the top here. So I'm gonna be rolling a number between 18 and 41 now. And that is going to be 21. And 21 is my Rimmel Apocalypse Lip Lacquer in Stellar. Which gives me quite a bit of lip product, but I think two is still fine. It probably will just mean that I won't be finishing either one of them, or at least the 10 uses or whatever I decide to do. Uh, yeah, let me go grab those three products and get back to you. Okay, I grabbed the three products. Um, I've got them right here and while I was grabbing them I was thinking about how difficult it's going to be to choose one of these as my long-term project product I mean uh, but let's take a look at them first so first of all we have this NYX blush and this is a grinding blush which means that to get the blush to come out there is a little like grinder here and you twist it and then the product starts coming out since I'm already trying to actually like hit pan on and finish another blush, I don't think it makes sense for me to roll this into my long-term part of things. So this is probably gonna be a short-term one. This is a, um, I guess kind of like NARS orgasm type. Let me see if I can get some products to actually swatch this for you guys. It's a little more orange actually than that. This is what that blush looks like. Um, it, it's basically like it has an orange base with a bit of like a golden sheeny something to it. <laughs> then the next one that I rolled in was the Etude House liquid lipstick, lip stain. I don't really know. As you can see, like you can kind of see the packaging right here. It is a very pink product uh, with a like pretty big applicator here. Um, but this one color-wise is very close to the liquid lipstick that I'm already trying to finish off. Um, yeah, I don't think there is a big difference between the two. So don't think it makes sense to have this as my long-term product either. So that kind of leaves me with the Rimmel Apocalypse Lip Lacquer in Stellar. 
I'm already working on that Rimmel Apocalypse Lip Lacquer and it's taking me forever, but yeah, Stellar is kind of an orangey red type of shade. Uh, this one. <laughs> and yeah, it's very, very bright as well. And I dug my finger in stuff here. It's a very bright shade too. So it's not going to be easy to like pair this with anything separately either. But out of these few, I think it does make most sense to have this as my long-term product. It might pair quite okay with the lip gloss at the same time because they're both kind of like orangey, uh, warm toned shades. But I'm never gonna be able to finish that one off this year because I've already got another lip lacquer that I'm trying to get through. Anyway, so the final decision. These two are gonna be my 10 uses products. The blush and the lip stain, liquid lipstick something. And this one is gonna go in the long-term part of things. I'm trying to think because I don't think I'm gonna get to finishing this one. So maybe I should set a numbers goal, which normally I don't like to do because I just like to keep working on something and actually finishing it off, except for the 10 uses things that I'm doing here. I'm gonna say I wanna use this 50 times. Straight off with, and then we're just gonna see where we end up and it's gonna be a long-term product though, so I definitely want to make sure it is at least a little bit challenging for me to get to that number. So, 50 it is. Now, for next time, if I'm looking at my products, I'm kind of hoping that I can expand the pan on this one a little bit more and maybe I can roll it out. Although at the same time, I'm using this every day anyway, so... I don't know if there is like a need for me to get that out as quickly as possible. Uh, like I said, I think this eyeliner, I can probably get the additional uses on to get to the 10 and then the blush probably as well because that's what I keep doing every single time so that will give me at least two products that I can roll in I'm kind of thinking that maybe I should pick one of these two to actually make my way through this one I feel like is too close to the um, shade in my naked palette half baked I think <laughs> I have my I don't know uh, yeah, so probably not this one, but I might try and do something with that green. I'm not making any promises though, but I think I will have like two or three products next time that I can roll out. So that is still pretty nice. And that is it for today. Thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know what you think of all these products and if you guys have any good ideas on how to use them. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.